Dear friends in Jesus Christ, Today we are in the second week of the season of Lent. The first reading of today is taken from the book of Genesis, speaks of three different themes. Yahweh's promise of prosperity to Abraham, Yahweh's promise of land to the people of Israel, and a covenant ceremony. The second reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians speaks about our citizenship in heaven. The Gospel from St. Luke speaks about the transfiguration of Jesus. This passage comes immediately after Jesus' first prediction of his passion, death and resurrection. In this passage, we come across many images which are deeply rooted in the Old Testament. First, we hear about the mountain. Jesus and the three of his disciples went up to the mountain. We are not told about the name of the mountain, but we are reminded of Moses going up to the Mount Sinai to meet God before the event of Exodus. Also, prophet Elijah went up to the Mount Horeb to meet God. Here, Jesus goes up to a mountain before his Paschal event. Mountain was a place to pray and to feel the closeness of God. Yes, mountains were considered as a place where God reveals himself. Second, we see two famous personalities. Moses and Elijah from the Old Testament. They were seen with Jesus on the mountain. This vision is also highly symbolic. Moses was seen as a great personality because he brought down the Ten Commandments of God to the people from the Mount Sinai. Later, these commandments served as basis for the Jewish law. Elijah was also considered as the most important of all the prophets in the Old Testament because he, with the power of God, overpowered the 450 false prophets of Baal in a dramatic showdown to prove that Yahweh was the true God. The appearance of these two personalities is to indicate that the purpose of the law and the purpose of the prophets were to prepare for Christ and now it is fulfilled. Third, we hear that Moses and Elijah appeared in glory. Glory in the Bible refers to the radiance of the presence of God. When Moses first encountered God in the burning bush, he covered his face because he could not see the radiance. Even the appearance of the face of Jesus became different and his clothing became dazzling white. Fourth, we heard the presence of the cloud overshadowing them. Cloud in the Old Testament was a sign of God's presence. During the Exodus, God accompanied the people in the desert as a cloud. Fifth, we hear that they were talking about the departure of Jesus in Jerusalem. The departure of Jesus is the new Exodus. The Exodus in the Old Testament brought a new nation and a new identity to the people of Israel. This new Exodus, the death and the resurrection of Jesus will bring new life to the whole of humanity. Sixth, we see from the cloud comes a voice saying, This is my beloved son. Listen to him. This is the second of the three times that a voice from heaven is heard. The first was at the baptism of Jesus 
and the third was in the 12th chapter of St. John's Gospel where God responds to the prayer of Jesus. Thus the whole event of the transfiguration is connected to baptism as well as connected to the exodus. Both baptism and exodus speak of newness. Both are aimed at becoming new, new land, new identity, new heart, new spirit, new mind, new person, new people and so on. Season of Lent is also calling us to become a new person with a new mind, with a new heart, with a new spirit, with a new identity, etc. But the question is, how to become a new person? How to become a new person with a new identity, with a new spirit? The answer is, listen to him. As the voice from heaven said, listen to him. Listen to him in the scripture. Listen to him in the events of the daily life. Listen to him in the hungers of the world. Listen to him in the cry of the war. Listen to him in the chaos. Listen to him in the silence. Listen to him. Yes, listen to him. May God bless you all. Amen.